Hi there, just thought I'd do a video on uh, injectors on this Honda Civic. Uh, this is mainly for a Honda, not sure about other ones. Obviously there's var it varies, different types of ECUs, different types of signal wires, various other things. But this is more for a Honda, so I'm just going to do it from a Honda point of view. Basically it's more to do with uh, wiring integrity more than anything else. Uh, it's just that if you've, uh, if you've got a dodgy, feel like you've got a dodgy injector and you've got a code come up, uh, and it could be a circuit problem. It's just some of the things to look for, or that I go through anyway as a DIYer before I have to uh, think about taking it to a shop and getting some proper scopes or picoscopes on it to get uh, some proper diagnosis. But some of it could be staring you right in the face, but uh, this is what I go through anyway with uh, trying to diagnose a wiring problem uh, or a dodgy injector. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, first thing first, you've got two wires, uh, there's different colour wires, it's got an earth wire, ground wire, which is yellow and black on this Honda, everything ground side seems to be uh, yellow and black, uh, so that's what I would check first, make sure it's got a good ground, and then it's got the uh, signal wire, it's got a red, well, like a brown, red, blue, and yellow. So those would be the sort of wires you need to. Uh, it'd be good if you could get a dry, uh, uh, wiring diagram as well. But those are the wires that you need to be chasing back through the circuits. So uh, as you can see, a lot of these wires are sort of out there, and you, you can sort of chase them back. Really, but be careful on some of them because when they go through. As they go through their uh, route back to the ECU, uh, they can change after plug connection. So just make sure you're still following the same colour wire. Uh, not so much on this car, seems to be the same as it goes through, but just, just bear that in mind when you're, uh, when you're chasing wires trying to find a, uh, an open circuit. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, check my ground, make sure I've got resistance. So I've got my uh, DVOM, so I'm going to put it to, uh, to ohms. Uh, set it up here so you can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it from the ground, from the battery. Try and keep it out of the sun. Got some sunshine here, believe it or not. Uh, set it down, down where you can see it. Go up there and do my wires. Need to undo these wires when I finish with it. Uh, so, I've got the ground side on the battery side. So, try and uh, connect it in there if you can. So, so what you're going to do, so I've got it connected to ground, so I'm just going to uh, unclip and see if I can get a resistance reading. So what I'm not doing, I'm not forcing this into the pin, you can back probe them if you want to, but I want to find a, a ground. So I've got continuity, I've got resistance, got continuity, check your specs, check them all across the board as well, each injector to make sure you've got good continuity. So I've got, I've got there, 1.70 on that one. Put back in. Same again. It should be about the same. 1.70. So that should be the same all the way across. So now that the ground is working. This is a good car. It's a good known car. All the circuits are working. So this is a good, probably a good video for you to uh, compare against. So I've got that. So what I want to do now is making sure that these wire, the wire, so it should be hot all the time. So if I do it from battery positive, I should, I should be looking. Yeah, so, uh, 
on the on this as well there's that though if you set your dvom to uh, volts there uh, and you put your uh, ground wire onto positive and then check you should have 12 and a half battery voltage coming through to uh, it should be on all the time so if you press if you go to don't like i say don't put the needle straight in just touch it should be battery positive there battery voltage which you've got so that tells me that I'm getting uh, a good supply, that the wiring circuit's okay, but it doesn't tell me that uh, I'm getting a good ECU uh, pulse. So the pulse should be coming in with the car running, the pulse should be, uh, should be on and off quick. So there's a couple of ways of testing that. Uh, one would be with a test light, which is difficult uh, in, at this point of view. So what you would do with that is put your uh, test light to battery positive and put the test light onto the signal wire and you might get a, uh, a flash but you, one of the things I've got is a noise set uh, they're not very dear uh, and these are probably the best way to check your uh, your integrity before changing out a, uh, an injector so you've got different types different connections uh, for GM Bosch Ford uh, there's different types. I mean, obviously, check your specifics for your car, your specs for your car before purchasing some of this. But it cost me about 20 quid, so that's worth having. Uh, so, the best thing to so what you need to do is get this will give you a, uh, an injection pulse, and that's what you're checking for before checking the uh, injector itself. So, what you do on this, get rid of the DAVR. So you want to put it in, make sure you've got the right right one, and just slot it in. Don't force it in, just make sure. And put it on there, so what you're looking for is uh, injector pulse. Put it on there, then start the car. This is purely from a DIY point of view. I have to say, but it does help me out. So, uh, just gonna put this on. Yeah, that's the camera. So, as you can see, if you can see that, there you go, it's crossing there. If you can see that, it shows that my uh, injector is working fine. And that's what you want to be looking for. So the integrity of this car is okay, no worries. No need to go chasing wires. Uh, it's going to be injected, so it's going to be the problem. So uh, there are other ways of checking as well. Check your, uh, you can check your uh, integrity between wire integrity between the two pins on the injector. Uh, you can listen to it through a screwdriver as well. Uh, and there's other ways of finding out, but just check your uh, wiring. It's hard to see on this uh, you can see. See it crossing there. That's what we need to be looking for. Uh, and that's it. Hopefully this helps you find a, uh, a problem in your, uh, in your wiring. Hopefully this helps you. Hope you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If not, tell me why. Thank you. I think it's up to you.